The Galaxy S25 series is right around the corner, and there's a big question on everyone's mind. What chip will power the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus? We're hearing a lot about possible chips to options for Samsung's new base and Plus models, from MediaTek and Exynos possibilities to a Snapdragon takeover. So let's break down the latest on Samsung's choices and figure out which direction they might take with these flagship devices. First off, it's pretty much certain that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will be rocking Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Elite chip. This is great news for anyone looking for top-tier performance in Samsung's most premium model. The Snapdragon 8 Elite boasts some incredible specs that set a new bar for mobile performance. Here's a quick rundown of what the Snapdragon 8 Elite brings to the table. Built on TSMC's advanced 3 nanometer process, new Orion CPU core maxing out an impressive 4.32 GHz. 24 megabytes of cache, which is a game changer for speed and multitasking. A new NPU with a 45% performance boost, featuring a dual-core AI processor. Qualcomm's latest Adreno GPU with 40% improved performance and better power efficiency. Samsung's choice here is clear. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is designed to be a powerhouse, but when it comes to the standard Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus, things get interesting. One of the earliest rumors about the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus chips suggested Samsung might go with MediaTek's Dimensity 9400. MediaTek has been stepping up its game, and the Dimensity 9400 packs some solid specs. TSMC's 3 nanometer process, just like the Snapdragon. CPU with one arm Cortex X925 core at 3.63 GHz, along with three Cortex X4 and four Cortex A720 cores. ARM Immortalis G925MC12 GPU for high-end graphics, LPDDR5X memory support for faster multitasking, MediaTek's NPU 890, equipped for generative AI capabilities. With this level of power, MediaTek could bring a real performance boost to the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus, especially in terms of AI and graphics. However, using a MediaTek chip would be a big shift for Samsung's Galaxy S series. It would bring new excitement, but also leave many wondering how it would stack up against the Snapdragon. In typical Samsung fashion, there's also speculation about their in-house Exynos processor, the Exynos 2500. Although Samsung hasn't officially announced this chip, there are rumors about two possible configurations that could make their way to the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus models. Here's what we've heard so far. Like the Snapdragon and Dimensity, it's expected to be built on a 3 nanometer process, Likely configurations with custom CPU cores and enhanced GPU options, though the details are still a bit vague. Some reports suggest that Samsung could split the Galaxy S25 lineup by region, offering the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 in some markets and the Exynos 2500 in others. This approach would provide Samsung with more flexibility to cater to different regions while also showcasing their in-house chip capabilities. That is the lineup with Qualcomm's top-tier processor. So which rumor seems the most credible? Right now, the momentum is with Qualcomm. Reports are heavily leaning towards Samsung adopting the Snapdragon 8 Elite across the entire Galaxy S25 series, creating a unified experience for users globally. This decision would bring Samsung's flagship lineup in line with Qualcomm's cutting-edge capabilities from efficient power management to AI-driven performance. Of course, Samsung hasn't confirmed anything yet, so this could still change before the official Galaxy S25 announcement. But as of now, Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite appears to be the best and most probable choice for the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus. To wrap things up, it looks like Samsung's Galaxy S25 lineup will be one of the most powerful yet, especially if it goes all in with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite chip. But whether we'll see MediaTek or Exynos alternatives in certain regions is still a mystery that keeps fans and tech enthusiasts on their toes. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments what you think Samsung should do. Should they stick to Qualcomm, try out MediaTek, or double down on their in-house Exynos tech? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, stay tech savvy and catch you in next video. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting-edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. 
The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163 millimeters at 77.6 millimeters, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter, but a bit wider at 162.3 millimeters x 79 millimeters. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, now onto the display. Both phones deliver top tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9 inch OLED display with a buttery smooth 120 Hz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just one Hz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8 inch OLED display that also supports 120 Hz refresh rates and an always on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's A18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone. 
something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top-tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.